In the absence of global rules and regulations, people in developing countries suffer disproportionately from the environmental and health consequences of plastic pollution. To curb this pollution, on November 28, 2023, the Economic Community of West African States adopted a series of initiatives to combat plastic waste pollution. With the support of a major project we have with the USAID, which is um, supporting us for about uh, 45 million dollars. What we at ECOWAS have done to date is to ask member states to propose the signing of the memorandum on the draft regulation on the harmonization of the regulation of plastic products and the environmentally sound management of plastic waste in ECOWAS member states should help to combat pollution more effectively. Indeed, some 80% of poorly managed plastic waste in the West African coastal areas poses growing challenges to populations, economies and the coastal and marine environment. According to some experts, this situation is a result of the demographic boom in coastal areas where a third of the West African African population lives and the development of a consumer society. Developments in several advanced countries that we so call today, we are heavily, heavily dependent on this dirty fuel called coal. They used it to develop their own economy. And when it is a time for Africa to use the same factor to develop her economy, they come with a regulation to tell you it is dirty fuel. According to official data in 2018, 6.9 million tons of plastic waste were dumped in the ocean by the 17 coastal countries of West Africa. And according to the United Nations, the region is expected to produce 116 million tons of plastic waste per year by 2060. To reverse this trend, experts are calling on African countries to improve their management of plastic waste.